Hello, class. Mm. Good evening. Oh, good evening. How are good you? Good evening. Do you listen to me? Yes? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for being very responsible. You are my early bird students. Okay, because you're always here on time and that's good. Today is Friday. And how was your Friday at work? ¿Cómo estuvo el viernes en el trabajo? Cuéntenme. Mm -hmm. It's my free day. Day off. It's my day off. Okay. You say ah, my okay. day off. Okay, my, my day, off. day off. Excellent. But with double F, remember, like this. You say okay, here and here. And you say, for example, complete Friday is my day off. Okay. Oh, congratulations. So you work only. Um, please uh, turn off your microphones because we listen. Some dogs outside. Okay, thank you so much. So we say Friday is my day off. In other words, you work for weekdays, okay? And probably Saturday or Sunday, yeah? Do you remember that we were practicing this yesterday? Yes? The weekdays that you work and you say, I don't work on Friday because it is my day off. Es mi día libre, okay? Thank you. Okay. Ivania, hello, welcome, Miss. Yesterday hello, we were teacher. missing you. What happened to you yesterday? Mm -hmm. We miss you in class, Ivania, yesterday, okay? Ana Veronica, good evening, welcome. Jonathan, welcome. Congratulations to most of you because you finished the activities, the homeworks in week number one, okay? So congrats, but Ivania is still owing me that. Yes, Ivania? Okay, yeah, because there are about four students who are still missing with that. But for example, Filomena, Carlos, Ana Veronica, Jonathan, they did the work. Okay, so congrats, and here we go. Today is Friday, tomorrow no classes, the day after tomorrow no classes. So you're going to be relaxed tomorrow by this time, yes? Mañana esta hora bien relajados, okay? And if you think about the class, if you miss your partners, you can start working in section two. No problem, okay? <laughs> no teacher until Monday. Okay, very well. William Francisco, hello, welcome. Good evening, William. Thank you so much, okay? Here we go and let's get started. I'm going to start sharing, but I'm going to share first of all, otherwise I forget it. My screen with you guys. And here, okay. Let's begin with the first slide. So today is October 7th, is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay, and today is our class number five, as I was uh, telling you in here we go okay so you can have a better perspective in here as i told you previously today is our video conference number five the first activity every day is greetings and the welcoming to the class so i am so glad that all of you are here okay very responsible i know that you have a very hard working day except mr carlos miguel because Today is his day off, so he didn't go to work. And for today, we're going to continue with the feedback as every day that we have the meeting, this virtual meeting for the class. <clears throat> One of you is going to help me reading the objectives for today's class. We're going to work with the simple negative statements and simple present review and practice of the sentences. And we're going to continue working at page 18, okay? So again, class here, the objectives. I'm going to ask Ivania to help us reading the specific objective for today's class and the class objective. Okay, Ivania, please help us. Okay, A specific objective. 
Participants will be able to describe activities and events in the workplace and other situations. Class objects. Participants will be able to practice simple present tense to describe routines. Excellent, thank you so much. So in other words, as your partner told you, we're going to continue using the simple present tense in order to describe routines at work and at home, okay? Thank you so much, Miss. And again, a reminder every day, every single day, I tell you about the homeworks and evaluations, okay? Remember next week, you need to complete section two and the midterm exam, okay? So by midnight today, I expect that all of you are done with section one, homeworks in the platform. Congratulations for most of you who did it, did a perfect 10, okay? And here again, your name, full name in the camera, okay? Uh, camera on during all the session, durante toda la sesión, camera encendida. The microphone off when it is possible and active participation in the main session room. Main session room is this one and also in the breakout rooms, yes? And here, a reminder about the attendance, okay? 120 minutes per class, about the attendance, two times during the session, okay? And you need to activate your camera. And at the end, I ask one of you to stay with me in order to have one-on-one -on -one session in order to have a feedback, okay? So here we go. Again, Zoom, mute the microphone camera on, you have available the chat via Zoom and via WhatsApp. And in the breakout rooms, you have the activated the function to ask for help. If I am monitoring another group, but if you have any doubt, you click on this button. And remember, good manners, respect above all, okay? <clears throat> and here again, the reminder, today is the seventh, so Section one must be done today at midnight, okay? And here you have for uh, section two, week two, section three and section four. So here we have a reminder of what we did yesterday and the day before yesterday. Remember class, we were working with the countable and uncountable nouns. And here I share with you some examples, okay? If I ask uh, one of you, let's see. Hi, ah, hello, welcome, Jose Mario. Nice to meet you. Okay, Marlene, Oneida, welcome. Anna Marlene is joining. Danny, welcome. Nelton, thank you so much for being here. Marlene, okay. If I ask you class, we're going to have a feedback on how much and how many. And here we go. If I say, ah, Clelia, thank you for joining. Uh, the question goes to Ana Veronica. Ana Veronica, hello. hello. Where are you? Okay, Veronica, Ana Veronica. How many eggs do you have for breakfast? How many eggs do you have for breakfast? How many you? Eggs, how many eggs do you have for breakfast in the morning? Um, cup, coffee? No, eggs, eggs. Okay, here I'm asking you about this. How many eggs? I'm going to share again with you. Miss, here, mm, where is it? Eggs, here, look at this. No. Okay. How no, many no. eggs do you have? None, none. You don't eat eggs in the morning. No. 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 Okay. Thank you so much. Very well. And now the question goes to Jonathan. Jonathan. Where are you, huh? Jonathan? Okay, Jonathan. How many books do you read 
monthly? How many books do you read monthly? How many books do you read monthly? How many books do you read monthly? Here. Zero, zero, zero books. Oh, you don't read books. No. 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 I don't oh. like. You don't oh. like. I don't like reading. You don't like reading. No. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Very well. If you notice, I ask the two questions to the two partners using how many? Why? Because you can count the eggs. Yes? And you can count books. If I ask you, class, this is a question for everybody. Okay? So I need you to think about a potential answer. What if I ask you how many eggs are there in a dozen? Okay? Tell me the answer. How many eggs are there in a dozen? The answer is, how many eggs are there in a dozen? In una docena? 12. Okay, you say 12, or you may say there are 12. Uh -huh. Short answer, or there are, there are 12 eggs in a dozen, yeah? There are 12 eggs in a dozen because they are countable, yeah? You can count the eggs. So we have been working during this week also with there is and also with countable and uncountable nouns, yeah? Okay, so questions or comments about the, the countable and uncountable nouns? Something that you need a feedback on it? No? Okay, let's continue then. Here we go. Okay. And here we have how much and how many, yeah? Do you remember that you were working with this? Yesterday, how much water do you drink in a day? How much does your blouse cost? How much does your shirt cost? How much fruit do you eat at breakfast? How much champagne do you drink a year? How much milk do you drink weekly? How much money do you have in your pocket? How much is a can of soda in your neighborhood? Now with how many? With countable nouns. How many times do you talk on the phone in a day? How many brothers do you have? How many partners do you have in the office? How many books do you read monthly? How many hours do you have to do your activities at work? How many rooms are there in your house? How many printers are there in your working area? Yeah, okay. Now I ask you, how do you say brothers and sisters together? Do you remember? How do we say brothers and sisters together? Siblings. Yes. Siblings, excellent. Because yesterday one of you asked me about it, right? And here, Okay, we have, this is also a feedback. Brothers only for boys, sisters only for girls, but together brothers and sisters, we say siblings. Yes, siblings. How many siblings do you have? You may say five. Oh, really? Yeah, I have two brothers and three sisters. So I have five siblings, okay? And that's it. This is something that you practiced also yesterday. Comments? No comments, doubts? No comments. Questions? Okay, great. Now, this is for you to do it right now, okay? The simple present tense. 
what do you think the verb should be here? I blah blah in El Salvador, which is the missing verb that you need to write over here. You blah blah in El Salvador, he blah blah in Guatemala, he blah blah in Guatemala, it blah blah in Tecla. Which is the missing verb over here? Live. Live. I live in El Salvador. But if we say she in Guatemala, which is the missing word over here? She from. Lives. No, 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 no. Lives. Lives. Very well. Lives. 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 Because it is third person singular and you need to make a change in the spelling. You need to add S for third person singular. And here I blah, blah every day. You, English, he, French, she, Russian, it, good manners. We, American history, you, British literature, they, electronics. What do you think would be one suitable verb that might fit in here? ¿Cuál podría ser un verbo que nos funcione acá? Learn. Learned, very good. Another one? Speak. Speak, no, because here in letter E with it is about good manners, probably a dog, okay? Study. Study, very well, because good manners, buenos modales, okay? And in here, we have I blah blah TV daily, you blah blah TV on Mondays. Which do you think could be? a potential verb over here. Watch. Watch. Okay, and you make the necessary changes. And over here, I give you between parentheses the verb that you need to use in order to complete these sentences. But make sure to make the necessary changes in each of the cases according to the subject pronoun, okay? Is it clear? Are the instructions clear? Yes, you have. For example, in letter B, you need to use clean according to the subject in simple present tense. Yes? Okay. Questions or comments? Are the instructions clear for the completion of these sentences? No? Yes, teacher. No. Okay. Here, yes or no? Are we clear yes, on what? Okay. No. Edwin Minero. Thank you, Edwin. Welcome. Okay, class. Now I'm going to, Juan Ezequiel, welcome. I'm going to share this slide with you guys via WhatsApp. Okay. And then, okay, over here. So it is better for you to have it in your WhatsApp. Over here. Okay, there you are. Okay, class. Now, um, listen, do you have any question about the activity or no, everything is okay? Do you confirm that the instructions are clear? Yes? Okay, so before you go to the breakout rooms in order to work on the completion, because if you have any doubt, you may ask your partners and they can help you. And I'm going to be monitoring us every day, okay? So here, Ana Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Ana Veronica. Present. Great. Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Thank you, sir. Carlos Miguel. I am here, teacher. Great. Thank you for answering. Carmen Guadalupe. Carmen Guadalupe absent by the moment. Clelia. Present. Thank you, miss. Danny. Danny. Present. Okay. We miss you yesterday too. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Great. Edwin Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Ivania. Present. Jenny is Caroline. Present, Caroline. Teacher. Okay, thank Present. you. Thank you. 
Jonathan. Here I am. Great. Jose Dimas, are you here? Jose? Not yet. Okay, let's wait for him. Jose Manuel Mejia, Mr. Jose Manuel. Absent at the moment. Jose Mario Vasquez. Vaquerano, teacher. Presente. <gasps> Present. Ah, uh, it is because, okay. I, I need you to clarify that so your partners were able to listen to your musical voice, okay? Welcome to the class. Thank you for joining. Mr. Jose Mario Vaquerano Cruz, yes? That's it. Yes. Now, Juan Ezequiel, Juan, hello. Hello, present. Welcome. Marlene Noneida. Present. Great, Miss Nilton. Nilton present. Alexander. Thank you for joining. Serafin Constanza. Hey, you're here, Serafin. Okay, great. William Francisco. William. Great. Filomena Luz. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Blanca Luz Delgado. Blanqui. Not yet. Okay. Alejandra Michel. Alejandra, not yet, okay. Beatriz Adriana, absent. Noé, Noé, where are you? Absent, later on. Okay, right now, class, you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms so you can practice because it is a general feedback. In case that you have any hesitation, you can get a reinforcement, okay? Some help from your partners. But remember, I'm going to be monitoring all the groups as every day, yeah? And later we're going to double check. So here, let's see how many groups. Okay, here we go. Get ready, open your eyes big, because at this moment, I'm sending you the invitation to join the breakout rooms. Okay, there you are. Please join your groups and begin the completion of the sentences, okay? Join your groups if you are so nice. Thank you, great. Ana Marlene, thank you. Jose Mario Vaquerano, we need you in group number one. Jose Mario, you are, thank you. Hello, here David Emanuel, Ana Marlene, Jose Mario, Lomena, and Dani, okay? Begin working and you have, uh, the function if you want to share the screen, okay? So welcome, Jose Mario, again, yeah? Make sure that your answers are okay, okay? Thank you, see you later. See you later, teacher. Yeah. Bye. Ah, lo que vimos. Ayer será entonces... Teacher. Yes, miss. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? <laughs> You're going to complete the sentences. Van a completar las oraciones. Ah, okay. Las que les he compartido vía WhatsApp. Bueno, y que. This sentence. Ajá, uh -huh, here. You're going to complete. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Here, all of them are in simple present. And here, with the verb that you consider is the most suitable. El verbo que consideren que es el más apropiado. Okay. And here, it okay. is the same verb that you're going to use, but you need to make sure how to use it in third person singular. And in this last part, you have these sentences from A to H. Between parentheses, you have the verb that you need to use, but make sure the changes that you need to make in order to get the sentence in a correct way, okay? And that's it. Okay. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye. Entonces, la uno sería...
Okay. En la 1 sería I live, ¿verdad? I live. No, ese era el ejemplo. Pero nosotros pero, lo podemos pero... hacer cualquier verbo. Ah. Ah, pero, pero como dice in, por ejemplo, I work in El Salvador. It could yeah. be one, yeah? Ah, excelente. Algo sin que hacer cualquier verbo, trabajar, vivir. Yeah. Pero, pero, eh. ajá, por, pero tiene que ir en acorde con la preposición in, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, okay. I work in El Salvador, I live in El Salvador, ¿ok? En presente simple. Holiday, El Salvador. Excuse ¿verdad? me. Vacacionar, vacacionar. I have vacations in El Salvador, or I spend vacations in El Salvador. Yes. Okay. Hey, okay, bye. Bye. Okay. She is studying. Do you have a question or problem, or everything is okay? Everything is clear? Okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, great. Good manners. Mm, yes, American. En el teacher. Yes, tell me, Miss. Eh, tenemos una duda ahí que, bueno, todos entramos de hasta que usted estaba explicando esto. Uh -huh. este Sería trabajar con eso que tienen los literales, ¿verdad? Con ambos ejercicios. Y con los anteriores, ¿verdad? Es de rellenar todo. Todo, sí. Ajá, pa, pero en este uh -huh. último. En, en esta última parte, en the orange, ok, en this one, ABC, from A to H, okay. is different. Because I give you the verb that you need to use, but you need to make the necessary changes for third person singular. Yes? Okay. Okay. Y acá, pues, puede ser el, el, el mismo verbo, porque es prácticamente a substitution drill. Pero utilizar el verbo con los cambios necesarios, tal cual como se usan en el presente simple. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok, uh -huh. e igual, e igual con, con, con el otro grupo, ok, con el otro grupo de oraciones, ¿de acuerdo? De acuerdo, teacher. Ok, muy bien. Porque acá hay que, ¿cuál sería un verbo que, eh, que nos haría esta oración eh, con sentido? Hay en El Salvador. Live. I live in El Salvador, ok. You, in El Salvador, you live in El Salvador. He, he lives in El Salvador. Y acá estamos reforzando lives, el sí, uso de los verbos en tercera persona de singular. Y lo mismo para acá. también. Ajá, en she, it, ok. E igual acá en estos literales, from A to H. Como se parecen las oraciones, pueden usar un mismo verbo, nada más que consideran los cambios necesarios para tercera persona de singular. ¿Ya? Ok. Sí. Okay, great. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Yay. Thanks. My pleasure. Hello, Carmen. Welcome. Guys, Carmen now is part of this group. So we have Jenny's mm -hmm. Caroline, Brandon, Cortez, Carmen Guadalupe, Juan Ezequiel, and Jonathan, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, bye. Carmen, do you know the activity we are working on? Carmen, ¿sabe la actividad en la que estamos trabajando? No, teacher, ahorita no. Okay, I share with you a slide via WhatsApp. Les compartí esta imagen via WhatsApp, okay? Y van a trabajar completándola, ¿sí? Acá. 
En este caso puede ser el mismo verbo, nada más considerando los cambios necesarios en tercera persona de singular e igual acá. Pueden utilizar el mismo verbo nada más que fíjense cómo se utiliza con third person singular e igual acá. Lo único que acá en este último ejercicio, chicos, que okay, you have to notice that the verb is given. It is a different verb for each sentence. Yes. Yes. Y acá okay. vamos a aplicar los cambios también para presente simple, insert person singular, and that's it, ¿ok? Ok, okay teacher. Ok, see you later. See you. See you. Sí, sí, espérenme. Sí, Uh, studies pronunciación niños studies studies do you spell it with you with you con la letra U studies se pronuncia con A pero se escribe con U ya he studies Okay, I share it with you. Yeah, Zoom, okay, in the chat. He is studying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Yeah. But that is the idea, to review those rules. Pero ese es el propósito, ¿verdad? Que repasemos esa regla. Okay. Okay. Pero no, está bien, Pero está bien Morse, ¿Sí? como, como dice todos los días, algunos descansan fin de semana, entonces no aplicaría work. I play soccer. Where are you? I play soccer todos los días. In the second part, I play soccer every day. Yes, maybe if you are in a, okay. in a league. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no or I Even study then. every day, I work every day, I eat every day, I take a shower every day. Yes, they soccer every day in the night. <laughs> At night. At night. Uh -huh. No, pero como que es hasta every day, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Entonces, en B sería speak, por ejemplo. Sí, it could be speak, learn, learn. study, mm -hmm. yeah, write. Ah, okay. Or uh, you write in English. You need to add in, but only for English. You speak, okay. You listen mm -hmm. English or something like that, or you study. Okay. Hi, teacher. Ian Lam. Okay, learn. And eat good manners, he said. Eat good manners. Eat good manners. Eat good manners. Eat good manners. They live. They live in Argentina, yes. Ellos uh -huh. Argentina, yeah. Oh, That's okay. okay. Um, in speaks or a speaker no he speaks or that's the correct speaks. way yeah learns, learns that's oh, okay okay i eat good manners eat okay. uh -huh. buenos modales ah uh, mm -hmm. eat you are it eat. No, eat. Eat. Eat is for a pet para una mascota uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. um, Pueden usar uno de esos verbos que ya usaron ahí. 
¿Cuál mm. será? Study, work or learn. Learn. Mm. No, no, no queda. Aprende buenos modales, las mascotas, los perros, yeah. the dogs. Learn, okay. ah. learn. Uh -huh. In the, in the schools for dogs, they tame them. Y ahí los entrenan. Ah, yeah. Learn, learn, entonces, learn. It learns good manners. Learn. Okay. Um, we. We. We study. Oh, we study that. American history. We study. Uh, you. Read, 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 okay. You read, 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 La segunda, la traducción sería. Eh, Yo limpio, tú limpias la oficina, ¿verdad? Correcto, tú limpias la, la oficina. Y entonces en el espacio ahí, ahí iría. Teacher. Yes, tell me, sir. Eh, la última parte eh, en letra C eh, eh, pasaría la última palabra car en menú. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Quitándole la S porque sería he watches the car, ¿verdad? He watches. Washes, no, no, washes en con minúscula, washes the cars, siempre de minúscula, sí, no cambia, verdad, no, no porque okay. es un verbo común, ok, un ver ah, eso, eso, ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Un verbo común, okay. Por favor. Ahí está, ya apareció. Ok, teacher. We teacher, have a question. Teacher, es, is, 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 oh, is. Yes. Hello, teacher. Yes, I listen to you. Tell me. Este, tenemos una pregunta cuando usamos watch en sí, en sí, de la vida de poder. El o se usa indistintamente en cualquier. Se puede siempre usar sí. como para ver. No, you watch TV. Ah, ok. Y cuando, y cuando usamos sí, teacher. I see you. See you tomorrow. Te veo mañana. 
pero para TV es watch. Ah, ok. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because you pay attention, you watch TV. I'm watching you, te estoy observando. Careful, yeah, I'm watching you, yeah. Parece que y en algunas see you canciones, later. Teacher, see you tomorrow, ok, yes. Uh -huh. En algunas canciones he escuchado que ocupan en algunas oraciones, sí. Uh -huh. Yeah, I see you, También, I see you uh -huh. in the sunshine, pero I <laughs> see you in the sunshine, pero eso es figurativo porque no está ahí. Sí, pero ah. watch is, cuando usted, uh, for example, I say, hey, Danny, keep working. I'm watching you. It means that I am keeping an eye. Como que si te estoy observando directamente. Okay, because when you are watch TV, your attention is on the TV. Yes. Ah, la la acción no se está ejecutando en el momento, digamos. Yeah, but you are okay. focused. Pero está concentrado en esa actividad. But I see you. Okay, see you tomorrow. Sí, nos vemos mañana. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Entonces ahí como me diciendo sería watch. Uh -huh. Watch y para tercera persona watches. Drinks. Drinks. We. We go. go. To the beach on Sundays. We go, go, go. Um, you print. Print. Print, print. Nada más print. Y they. Y they, 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 they drive. No. They drive. No, porque son uh -huh. ellos. ¿Qué? Ajá. Ellos, no, no, ellos no pueden manejar todos entre todos un carro. No, no. <risa> They go. <risa> De poder, sí puede. <risa> go, o no, o move. They move by car. Teacher, no. What if you say they travel? Ah, travel, ajá. <risa> <laughs> Mejor es. <laughs> okay. They teach electronics. It's a good. It is good one. Okay. They teach electronics. They study electronics. They es, learn es que, electronics. Es que tenemos duda ahí que electronics eh, más orientado a, un, a los dispositivos. Y electronic uh, a la ciencia, no sé si. It could be vaya. both. It could be both, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno. Or they sell electronics. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It could be, depending on the context, right? Uh -huh. Let's see. I live, you live, he lives, she lives, it lives, we live, you live, we live. I work every day. But not uh, Carlos, because he doesn't work on Friday. You study English, uh, he speaks French, she learns Russian, it learns good manners, we study American history, you read British literature, they teach electronics. I watch TV daily, you watch TV on Mondays, he watches, she watches, it watches, we watch, you watch, they watch. I fix the car, you clean the office. He washes the cars. She does the laundry in the morning. He drinks milk daily. We go to the beach on Sundays. You print a lot of papers in the office. They travel by car. Okay, very well. Congratulations, class. You did it. Ah, But remember you. that in, in the first block of exercises and in the second one, the answers might vary. Okay, las respuestas pueden variar depending on the verb that you use, yeah? But in the second block, uh -uh, they must be these ones. In la, in la segunda parte, in the orange box, you need to respect the verbs that are given, okay? 
Do you have any question about the uses and the changes in simple present tense for the verbs in third person singular or everything is clear? O todo está claro? Yes. Everything is clear, okay. So see you in one minute, okay? I'm going to ask the okay. other groups to make sure okay. they are ready. Thank you. Thank you, okay. thank you. Teacher. Yes, tell me. In the sentence H, minúscula, yeah. no sé cómo dice, en they, minúscula. Uh, uh -huh. este, eh, is, for they, example, they travel by car. That's correct. Yes, okay, they yeah. travel by car. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál otro se podría usar ahí, teacher? I think only that one because of the phrase by. Ajá. Uh -huh. Because. Eso le hizo decir yo a Manuel que, que uno, uno dice andar aquí, vea. Mm-hmm. Pero ahí es yes, viajar, viajar, de hecho, el viajar. O irse okay. en carro. Decimos, yo, ellos se van en carro. No, they, eh, we don't say they go by car. No, they travel by car. Uh -huh. Ok, aquí decimos a piar también. <risa> <risa> Ay. <risa> Esa no faltaba ahí. Uh -huh. Ahora solo está si quieren, como tenemos un poquito de, de unos segundos uh -huh. todavía más, yeah. en, la primera, en la primera podemos intercalar otros verbos si quieren. Ya, yeah, because the answers might vary. Sí, las respuestas pueden variar en la, en la primera parte, en algunos casos, no en todos, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Por ejemplo, teacher, hemos puesto live. Uh -huh. Y lives para el caso de tercera persona. Yeah. Pero también hemos usado el, el verbo work. Yes, in some cases it is okay. It is acceptable. No problem. Okay. Okay. See you. Finish. Hello, guys. Did you finish? Yes, it is. And finish. No, Thank you. Okay. So let's get back to the main session room. So we can compare, okay? Because in some cases, the answers could vary. In algunos casos, las respuestas pueden variar. So I'm going to close the, the groups. And here we go. We're going to double check as a class. Okay, class, in some cases, the answers might vary and there is no problem whenever it makes sense. Okay, Filomena, William, and Ana Veronica are in their way okay, to the class. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. You're going to tell me the potential answers. Okay, I, what do you have, class? I in El Salvador. I live. I live in El Salvador. That would be a nice one. Is there another possibility, another verb that you may use in this set of sentences? Some of you said, I work in El Salvador. Yes. And what about number three? Number four, she? Works and lives. Okay, she works in Guatemala. She lives in Guatemala. He works in Guatemala. She lives in Guatemala. He studies in Guatemala. She studies in Guatemala. Yes, that could be possible. It lives in Santa Tecla. Yeah, because remember for third person singular, we generally add letter S at the end of the verb. We in Honduras. 
We study, we work, we live in Honduras, for example. You in Spain, no, es is necessary to the verb. Why? Because the subject is you. They live in Argentina. The subject is plural, so you don't need to add letter S to the verb. And what about here? Here we have a variety of answers. I every day. Some of the verbs could be, tell me your potential answers. I, hello, eat. Or, I work every day. I eat every day. I take a shower every day. I play soccer every day. I play tennis every day. I go to the gym every day. Yes or no? I read every day. I drink coffee every day. Another one? I call the clients every day. Yes. So a lot of possibilities. Now you English here. We have here a more limited set of verbs to be used in letter B. Some of the uh, potential verbs could be you speak. You speak English. You study English. You study English. Okay, very well. Learn. You learn English. Excellent. What about he? French. Hello, some possibilities. Using he. He reads French, he speaks French, he studies French, yeah? What about she, Russian? She speaks Russian. Very well, great. Or she studies Russian, yeah? Eat, good manners. Practice. It, it practices, it practices good manners. It learns good manners, yes? What about we? American history. We? We read. We read American history, excellent. We, another one? Learn. We learn American history, very well. One more, we? We study. We study American history. Excellent. Teach. Oh, we, yes. We teach. know, teacher. We, we teach know American. American history. We teach American history. We like American history. Yes. Now you, Brit British literature. You read. read. You read British literature. You teach British literature, you study British literature, one more, you learn, you learn British literature, yeah? What about they, electronics? Work. They work in electronics, another one? Student. They study electronics very well. And uh, in one group, I saw that, uh, excuse me? Teach. They teach electronics very well, okay? As a subject, electronics. Now here, TV daily. I? Watch. Watch TV daily. You? Watch. Watch TV, watch TV on, Monday. on Mondays. He? Watches. Watches. TV on Sundays. She? Watches. Watches. She watches TV in the evening. It's? Watches. TV in the morning. We? Watch TV in the afternoon. You? Watch TV at noon. They? Watch TV at midnight. At midnight, very well. They watch TV at midnight. What about this one? I, the car, fix. I, fix. I fix. fix the car. No changes in the verb, yeah? It is the same for the first person singular. I fix the car. Now you. You clean the office. Excellent. So no change in the verb. 
you keep it like that, as it is given. No hay cambio, lo mantienen tal cual como se le da. He, the cars wash. He washes. Excellent. The car. He washes the cars. She, the laundry in the morning. She does the laundry in the morning. She does the laundry in the morning. Very well. It milk daily. Eats daily. Drinks. Drinks. Very well, because it is third person singular too. We to the beach on Sundays. Okay. Go. We go. No change in the verb. No cambiamos el verbo porque es we. We go to the beach on Sundays. You, a lot of paper in the office. Print. You print. print. Excellent. No change in the office either. They buy car. They buy car. The verb should be? Travel. They travel, they travel by, by, car. by car. Excellent. Very well. They travel yeah. by car. By car. Okay, do you have any comment, question, suggestion about this exercise? No? Okay, very well. So right now, I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to share with you this. Okay, over here. Let's look at this. In the grammar extra practice, the simple present tense for third person singular and plural with negative statements. Yesterday we were uh, working with negative statements, but here we're going to continue with that practice because if you notice in the previous practice, you only were working with affirmative statements, yes? Now here, she does not work on weekends. This is the full form, yes? They do not have much time full form. Notice here that you have, okay, the modal auxiliary for third person singular does. And for I, you, we, and they, we use to as modal auxiliary. So the structure is the subject plus the auxiliary do or does, depending on the subject. In this case, she is the subject because she is third person singular. We use does as the modal auxiliary, yes? Plus the negative particle, not. After the negation, you write the verb. In this case, it's work. The basic form of the verb, okay? La forma más básica del verbo, así es como lo van a escribir. Después de does not or do not. On weekends, and we read, she does not work on weekends. Now in letter B, example B. They is the subject. Do is the modal auxiliary. We use do because the subject is they, plural. After the modal auxiliary do, we use not. They do not. The main verb, the principal verb is have, okay? And the complement is much time. So we have, they do not have much time. If you notice here, the book is giving you an example with third person singular and the other one with plural. Okay. Questions or comments about this structure? No? Okay. So here we have, Maria does not work at HBBC. Marcos does not stay late at work. Juan and Pedro do not write reports. We do not send letters. Now, class, you're going to help me with the following, okay? Okay, here. We're going to write these sentences, but in the contracted form. Maria does not work at H. B, B, C. So we write Maria doesn't. Excellent. Doesn't. Okay. Or now work. Very well. Doesn't work at H, H B, B, C, and the full stop at the end. We. 
the full stop at the end, right? Now I need you to write these sentences in negative, but using the contraction, okay? Do it and later you're going to dictate it to me. We are working, remember, at page 18. We are working at page 18. So change these sentences from full negative into the contracted negative form, if you are so nice, okay? When you finish, you let me know. So we're going to double check. Finish class, not yet. Not yet, aún no. Finish. Okay, thank you, Miss, for telling me. Okay, so for number two, what is the sentence in the contracted form? Marcos doesn't stay late at work. Okay, very well. Marcos does stay late at work. Now, Juan and Pedro do not write reports. In negative, in contracted form. Juan Pedro does. Mm -hmm. Juan and Pedro? Don't. Don't. Very well. Don't write, write reports. Remember, Pedro and Juan, two people, so the subject is plural. If we replace Juan and Pedro, we write they, yes? Yeah. Here, okay. Now the last one, number four. We do not send letters. The sentence should be? We don't. We don't. We don't send and, uh, letters. letters. Okay, very well. So we have uh, third person singular number one, third person singular number two, plural number three, and plural number four. Okay, questions or comments about this? No? no. Everything no. okay? Okay, I hope so. Así lo espero. And now I'm going to share with you guys this other information. Here we go, okay? We continue with the simple present tense. You have a set of 15 questions. Danny, do you play the piano? Danny, no. do you no? No. I don't. 
Okay, so I write the answer. Danny doesn't play the piano, yes? If I say, uh, Juan, Juan Ezequiel, do you write reports at work? Juan? No, I don't, no, I don't. Okay, so I write, Juan doesn't write reports at work. You are going to work in groups and you are going to ask and answer these questions, yeah? orally, but also you are going to write the answers your partner is going to give you. As I said, eh, Danny, do you play the piano? And he said, no, I don't. So I wrote, Danny doesn't play the piano. And Juan, do you write reports at work? No teacher, I don't write reports. And then I write, Juan doesn't write reports at work. So two activities, the first one, you work directly, okay? You ask the question directly and you write the partner's answer. But you don't say, no, I don't, or yes, I do. No, you write the name of your partner. And because you have the name of your partner, you are going to write doesn't, yes? In negative. And when it is affirmative, you write, for example, Danny plays the piano, yes? Is it clear? Yeah? Okay. So I'm going to share this slide with you via WhatsApp. At this moment. Okay. So you can share it. Okay, over here. And I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms immediately okay so get ready because i'm going to send you to the groups Okay, here we go. Let's begin. Open your eyes big because the invitation is right now for you. Okay, go to your groups, please. And begin the speaking and later the writing. Join your groups and practice. Ah, hello, Dimas. Your group is, let me see. Good evening, teacher. Okay, I'm going to send you to one group. You were having problems with the connectivity, Dimas. Es que vengo llegando ahorita, teacher. Ah, okay, that's why. Okay, excellent. Sí. Let me see. Three people. Okay, I'm going to send you Dimas to group number, you join to group number six, okay? I'm going okay. to send you the invitation at this moment. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Yo les comparto, permíteme un segundito. Ahorita. Yes. Okay. Okay. Este. Right, entonces, Ivania uh, doesn't have lunch in the office. Do you make overtime at work? No, I don't. Do you work on Saturday? Yes, I do. Do you attend meetings on Friday? 
Yes, I do. Do you get in contact with? Y en la, en la dos sería, do you write reports at work, Filomena? Yes, yes I do. Yes, I do. Eh, ¿quién, ¿Quién ahí que se reporta otro compañero? William, William Francisco. Hello, William. Are you available? William Francisco Flores Murillo. No, he's not. Maybe he's having problems with the with the audio. You eh, drink the, the water. <laughs> do you drink? Ah, he was drinking yes. water. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Remember that you have to write the answers, okay? Recuerden okay. que tienen que escribir porque así uh, de esta manera van ustedes a practicar la escritura y a recordar las estructuras, okay? En este momento se está uniendo otra vez William. Okay. Let's wait for him. Ojalá Responder se... en negativo, ¿verdad? Y también en afirmativo, dependiendo si es la pregunta. Realidad, la question. realidad. Ajá. Ah, ok. Yes, I do. Recuerde okay, que no es eh, afirmativa, por ejemplo, si, si, if I say, hey, Filomena, do you write reports? And she says, yes, I do. So I write, Filomena writes reports at work. Okay. Uh -huh. Ahí estamos utilizando la estructura de uh, presente simple en afirmativo y le agrego una S al verbo. Pero cuando es negativo, uso doesn't, pero el verbo doesn't. no se ve afectado. Okay. En negativo, ¿verdad? Sí, okay. no se ve okay. afectado. Okay. William is here. William Francisco, so ask the question, Serafín, to him. Uh -huh. Okay, bye. Bye. Do you call? Do yeah. you call potential clients? No, I don't. Teacher, eh, respuesta corta o también vamos a dar respuesta. Una... No, cuando escriban la respuesta, por ejemplo, uh, Juan le contestó no, I don't. Entonces usted mm -hmm. escribe en la respuesta. Juan doesn't bla bla y continúa ah, con yo sí, porque ya, acá en las ya, negativas. O sea, yo, sí. En las negativas están utilizando doesn't y el verbo sin cambio. Y cuando es mm -hmm. afirmativa, si él le contesta yes, I do, then you say Juan, for example, writes reports at work. Entonces las dos estructuras, afirmativa y negativa in simple present is what you are practicing, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Sí, okay. era de escribir. Es de escribir. Ok, ya. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Vaya, vamos a ver. Yeah. Brandon, do you check your email daily? I don't uh, check your email daily. I don't check my email. I don't check my email. Porque le están haciendo la pregunta directa, Brandon. Ok, revisa su correo. No, I don't check my email daily. Yeah, and then ah. they have to write. Brandon doesn't check his email, his email or the email daily. Doesn't check, porque acá estamos practicando la escritura de las oraciones en negativas, presente simple para tercera persona de singular y afirmativa. In the case that he says, yes, I write or I check my email every day. Then you say, Brandon checks the email every day. Okay? Good. Mm -hmm. Good teacher. Okay, very well. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, because I am I'm now helping group number six. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Do you organize? Schedule every Monday. Schedules, schedules. Do you organize a schedule every Monday? Every Monday? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do organize a schedule every day, every Monday. 
yes I do, hasta ahí es cortita, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Respuesta corta, luego la respuesta larga. Complete full answer, I organize schedules every Monday. ¿Y qué es lo que van a escribir sus compañeros? Verónica organizes schedules uh -huh. every, month. every Monday, porque es afirmativa. En el caso que fuera su negativa, your answer, they write. Verónica doesn't organize. ¿Ya? Okay. Okay. Next, do you check your email daily? 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 I check email daily. Okay. Thank you. En el caso, en el caso, teacher, ya, ya repasamos todo. Nos dividimos. Y ya, y, ya, y ya escribieron las respuestas. Lo que pasa es que del, de la oración 1 a la 8 practicó José con Dimas. Por eso, la... pero ellos escribieron las respuestas completas, afirmativa o negativa. En el caso de Danini, sí, porque, bueno, eso es lo que les mencionaba, es que teníamos que ir escribiéndolo. No es sé, correcto. José, si Dimas lo, lo hicieron al final. Sí, yo lo, um, todavía lo estoy haciendo. <risa> pero José, pero José, escribir, José escribir sí, es sí. decir, si, si Dimas Ajá. le preguntó a José Mario, debió haber escrito las respuestas de José Mario, ¿sí? Eh, sí, José Mario me preguntó y vi que estaba tomando nota, no sé cómo. Sí. Pero, ah, y, y, yo usted, ¿y usted ya yo le respondí. preguntó a José Mario? Aún no. Falta esa ah, parte. Entonces tiene que, ok, <risa> y cuando él Ajá. le conteste, usted en forma completa. Okay. Affirmative or negative sentences, ok. Ok. Pero oralmente, oralmente tiene que hacer todas las preguntas porque la, la idea es que todos eh, ask and answer, ok. Ya, okay. Yeah. Okay. ok. Entonces, mi turno, José Mario. <risa> ok, ask him. Okay. ok. José Mario, do you play the piano? Yes, I do. I play the piano very good. Very well. Okay, so. Very well. Uh, Dimas, Dimas has to write. Uh, Jose Mario plays the piano. Jose Mario plays the piano. Eso es lo que tiene que escribir Dimas. Okay. Sí, su respuesta, pero usando tercera persona de singular. En este caso, como es afirmativo, sí. el verbio, el verbo cambia. Yes, and you write. He plays the piano, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He plays the piano. La S me hizo falta. <risa> ok, por eso las están escribiendo, para que practiquen los cambios. <risa> that is the idea, that is the spirit. That's the spirit. Ok, continue. Asking okay. him. José Mario, do you like write reports at work? Yes, I write report at work. Okay. Every day. Every, Every day. Work. Okay. So you're right. Jose Mario writes right. reports right. at work. Yes. Reports at work. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do you do you have lunch in the office? Yeah. 
Yes, I take my... Está raro la pronunciación. Sketchers. Ajá, gracias. ¿Cómo es? Sketchers, sketchers. Sketchers. Eh, that's correct. Sketchers. Acuérdense, acuérdense, acuérdense de la ketchup. Sketchers. <risa> 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 Mejor de schedules, soft, yes. suave, schedules, 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 yeah, schedules, okay, thank you. Lick. ¿Verdad que solo era eh, contestar eh, con no, I don't y yes, I do? O sí, no, está bien, está bien, pero cuando escribe su compañero o compañera su respuesta, por ejemplo, um, Marlene, do you play the piano? And you say yes, I do. I write, Marlene plays the piano, ¿sí? Ah, oh. Ah. Or Marlene doesn't play the piano. Porque estamos reportando ya con la tercera persona de singular. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces sería Marlene play. Plays con la S. Acá. Because in third person singular you add S. Ok. Marlene plays the piano. In affirmative. ¿Y si fuese negativo? Marlene plays. No, Marley doesn't, doesn't play the piano. In that case, because it is negative, you don't add the S, but you say doesn't. Marlin doesn't play the piano, ¿ok? En este caso, en el auxiliar, o sea, va el, el S y por eso el verbo va como en su forma base, digamos. Correcto, negativo. porque para el plural es do. Uh -huh. Si yo digo, they don't play the piano, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. el verbo original es do, pero cuando uh -huh. eh, lo usamos para tercera persona de singular, le agregamos es. Y el verbo lo dejamos. Eh, en su forma en su, natural. En su uh -huh. forma base. Ah, base okay. Yeah. ok. That's the spirit of this activity. Esa es la idea de esta actividad. Ok. That you use affirmative and negative for third person singular. Ok. Okay, great. Very well. Okay. Mi hermana está admirando la luna, así que. <risa> hey, es cierto, es que estaba, me estaban comentando afuera que la luna está, no sé, la verdad no se me dan ganas de ir a ver uh, but right now you have to practice and the sooner the better ok, remate okay. lo mejor so you can admire the moon <laughs> continue yo with falto, the practice, ok yo falta quien me pregunta finished finished uh, long time yes, ago, ok, now tell me um Ivania, would you read some of the sentences that you wrote about the information your partners share with you? Okay. Some. Uh, Jonathan doesn't play the piano. Okay. Uh, Jonathan doesn't write reports at work. Jonathan uh, does doesn't have lunch in the office. Jonathan does make overtime at work. Does do or doesn't? Does. But the question was, do you yeah. make? Do you make over? Entonces, ahí. Jonathan makes overtime. Make, makes okay. overtime. Porque en la afirmativa no usamos auxiliar. ¿sí? Ah, ok. okay. Eh, Jonathan make overtime at work. Okay. Eh, Jonathan doesn't work on Saturdays. Jonathan eh, attends meetings on, on Fridays. 
Okay. Jonathan doesn't get in contact with customers. Okay. Jonathan doesn't call potential clients. Jonathan doesn't stay late at work. Jonathan have paid vacation. Jonathan uh, doesn't organize meetings at work. Organize. Organize. Jonathan doesn't buy raw materials weekly. Jonathan doesn't organize a schedule every Monday. And Jonathan check your check his email daily. Okay, and I'm going to give you an affirmative statement. Okay, Jonathan works with computers. Jonathan works with uh, software. Yes, Jonathan. Yes, yes, I do. Okay, great. Now, Jonathan, tell me two sentences. Negative sentences about Clelia. Oh, you no la anoté. But you have to. Okay, so tell me what you remember. That is the idea. Sí, okay, because you check okay. the spelling. Sí. Mm -hmm. Recuerdo que, uh -huh. que Clelia, Clelia este, uh -huh. doesn't, doesn't play the piano. Is that correct, Clelia? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Another uh, one? Uh, Clelia este, uh, doesn't organize 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 a schedule every month. Every, every Monday. Every Monday, very well. So you see, you just need to recall the information. But the idea is that you practice the structure in the written way and orally because practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the more you get in touch and you internalize the structures, okay? So we're going to move right now to the uh, main session room. I expect that your partners are done and let's see what they have to tell you about the information they collected from the other classmates, okay? So here we go. Okay, get ready because now you are going to record the activities that your partners do or don't do, okay? From the list of activities that I shared with you in the slide. It is part of your daily routine, yeah? So here, let me see. We have Carmen Guadalupe, Edwin, Marley Oneida, and Nilton Vasquez. Okay, I need two people to report what the other partners do or don't do. So the volunteers, or do you want me to, to say the names? Okay, in group number one, we have Carmen, Edwin, Marlin, and Nilton. Two of you are going to report, okay? The activities that your classmates do or don't do at work. The regular activities. Okay, volunteers? Es la tú, ¿verdad? Es que es ahí tú. Yeah, but you're going to report what they told you. Sí, pero van a reportar lo que ellos les dijeron. Utilizando third person singular and the necessary changes for the verbs. Y los cambios necesarios para los verbos, ¿sí? Because you wrote the answers. that okay? Uh, sería, do you check? Uh, mm, do, you, do you write? Sí, pero es la respuesta que su compañero ah, okay, o compañera okay, okay. le dio, ¿ok? 
Are you ready in group number one? Or maybe group number two? Let's Can see. We write report at work. Okay, excellent. Very well. Continue, Miss. Yeah. Edwin, how, how much in the office? Edwin? Edwin, what? Has lunch. Has. has oh. Yes. Sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. Cambia oh. el verbo. Yeah, because remember <laughs> that word? No, that is, thank you, because we are learning from that. And it is, remember that we use for I have, okay, you have, he has, she has, yes, it has, and then we have, you have, and they have, is that okay? So that's why he has lunch. He, she has. But in negative, for third person singular, we say he doesn't have or she doesn't have. But in affirmative, we say they have, uh, they don't have in negative. Yeah, they don't have. Remember this, okay? There is an intention in each of the, of the verbs for you to review, to feedback, because you know this, but it is just a reminder, okay? Continue, Miss, please, with your sentences. Hello, Marlene. Marlene, Oneida, continue with the sentences. Yeah. Sería, Edwin were on Saturday. Edwin attends, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Making, meetings. Um, meetings. Edwin attends meetings. Edwin attends meeting on Friday. Okay. Edwin gets in time with customer. Okay. Edwin take order on the telephone. Edwin don't Edwin study at work. Okay. Edwin has fine vacation. Paid vacation. Paid vacation. Edwin organizes. Organizes. Organizes meetings at work. Edwin buys raw raw material no, no recuerdo raw material material week no sé cómo okay. se pronuncia eso la raw material raw material okay. Edwin raw materials weekly Mat weekly material weekly Mm -hmm. Edwin organizes 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 a shared schedules schedules schedule very Monday every Edwin Monday check. every Monday Monday, Monday. Edwin check your email guys no he doesn't check my email he checks his email, his email, okay? Revisa el correo de él, his email. 
so we don't say your email because eh, cuando usamos your email, su correo, pero tuyo. Y como tiene que ser suyo, de él, his email, ¿ok? Thank you so much, Miss Marlene. Congratulations, very well done. And now let's listen to another participant from group number two. We have Aclilia, Stila, Ivania, and Jonathan. One representative of the group. Okay. Miss Flores Molina, Miss Olmedo, or Mr. Ramirez Vasquez. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Miss. Okay, um, Jonathan doesn't write reports at work. Okay. And Jonathan doesn't uh, work on Saturdays. Okay. And Clelia uh, doesn't attend meetings on Fridays. And Clelia doesn't buy raw materials weekly. Okay, excellent. Now let's listen someone from the other group. Filomena Luz, Serafin, or William Francisco. Who's going to represent the group? Okay, Serafin, thank you. Because you were like this. Okay, para no darle Serafín. volumen. Oh, para darle okay. volumen. I thought to encourage your Francisco. partner. Para darle. Ah, Francisco. Ah, okay. Uh, no, Francisco, no, but here you are, Filomena, Luz, you, or uh, William Francisco. You want William Francisco. William, are you ready? William Francisco, are you here? William Francisco, do you listen to me? No, he doesn't. Filomena, Luz Filomena, are you ready? Yes. Okay, read some sentences about your partners. Okay. Uh, Serafin doesn't play the piano. Okay. Uh, William, uh, why report at war? Right. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, Serafin, uh, I ha have lunch has, in the office. Has lunch in the has office. Uh -huh. In the office. Yes. Um, uh, uh, William uh, may over die at work. Okay. Unidad. Y Serafín often meeting meeting on Friday. Attends meetings on Friday. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> And now let's listen to uh, the other partners. Okay. Here, let's see. Ana Marlene, Carlos Miguel, o Juan Ezequiel. Ready group, Ana Marlene, Carlos Miguel, o Juan Ezequiel. Nobody? Okay. Please. Eh, sería, Ana Dassen, play the piano. Eh, Ana, Ana, Ana has, eh, perdón, Ana does has lunch in the office. El otro ah. sería eh, cinco. Ana does work on Saturdays. Ok, listen. If you say Ana doesn't work, es negativo, ¿verdad? No, Ella no dos. trabaja. Ah, es afirmativo. 
Afirmativo. Entonces no usamos el auxiliar das. Usted nada más expresa esto. Okay, I'm going to share it with you. You say, for example, Ana, we here. Ana works on Saturday. On Saturdays, yes. Cuando Thank es afirmativo, no utilizamos el verbo auxiliar das, pero sí cambia el verbo en tercera persona de singular, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Ok. Ok, continue reading, please. Entonces sería eh, Ana Dase eh, Organize the meeting in the world. Ok. Y la última, Ana ¿Cómo sería? Yeah. Ah, Ana Dasen eh, study live and the work at work. Okay, thank you so much. Now, Brandon, David, or Janice, one of you. Are you ready, people? Hi, teacher. Okay, please. Uh, for example, uh, Jenny Dasen. Uh, work uh, on Saturday. Okay. Uh, well. Brandon doesn't call potential client. Uh, Jenny doesn't organize meeting at work. Okay. Uh, Brandon doesn't organize schedule every Monday. Great. Uh, uh, Jenny doesn't play the piano. Y, uh, Brandon doesn't make overtime at work. Very well. Thank you so much. Great. Now, Veronica, Dani, Dimas, or Jose Mario? Only one. Okay. Boy. Yeah. Dimas playing uh, the piano. Uh, Jose Mario writes report at work. Uh, Jose Mario. Uh, doesn't have lunch in the office. Uh, Dimas doesn't make overtime at work. Uh, ahora una de Dani. Okay. Uh, 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 Dani doesn't take orders on the telephone. Uh, Dani uh, doesn't call potential clients. Excellent, congrats. Now activate your cameras. Here we go. Ana Marlene, are you here? Ana Marlene, the second attendance. Marlene? Present teacher. Okay, Ana Veronica? Present. Brandon? Present. Carlos Miguel? Carlos Present. Miguel. Present. Thank you, sir. Carmen Guadalupe, Carmen, Carmen, Carmen is absent at the Present. moment. I knew, sabía. Clelia? Present. Thank you, Miss Clelia. Dani? Present. David Emanuel? Present. Okay, Edwin? Edwin is absent. Hola, hola. Uh -huh, okay, thank you so much. Ivania? Present. Here, thank you. Janice Caroline? Janice? Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Jonathan? Here I am. Thank you, sir. Jose Dimas? Dimas? Present. You, okay, thank you. Jose Manuel Mejia absent today. Okay. Jose Manuel Mejia is absent and Jose Mario absent. Hello, hello. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Here you are. Juan Ezequiel. Present. Marlene Oneida. Present. Milton. Milton, Present. sorry. Milton Alexander. 
Serafín. Serafín. William Francisco. Present. Thank you. Filomena Luz. Filomena Luz. Microphone. Present. Present. Thank you, Thank you so much. Uh, Blanqui, Blanca Luz, today was absent. Alejandra Michel, today was absent too. Um, Beatriz, Adriana, absent. And Noah, Noah was absent today. Okay, class, let's continue with our activities. Congratulations on your previous activity. Remember, when you use a negative doesn't or don't, the verb is in the basic form, in the original form. They don't play basketball. She doesn't play basketball, okay? But in affirmative, she has lunch at work. He has lunch at work. I have lunch at work. They have lunch at work. We have lunch at work, okay? In the affirmative sentences, you don't use any modal auxiliary. But in third person singular affirmative, the verb needs a change. For example, watch changes to watches. Wash changes to washes, okay? And so on. Fix fixes. She fixes the cars. Ella repara los autos. And now you have to write six negative sentences about you and a colleague. If you remember previously, I asked you to write a paragraph yesterday, right? But now you are going to write sentences. Three about the regular activities that you don't do at work and three, six activities that one of your colleagues don't do at work. For example, if you ask me, uh, teacher, what are some of the work-related activities you don't do? Uh, I'm going to tell you, for example, I don't, hmm, I don't take telephone calls, okay? Because that is not my job and so on, one, two, three. And here about one of my colleagues, I could write, for example, he doesn't supervise employees, for example, yes? If you notice here, don't because it is about me. He or she doesn't, the activity, notice the verb, in the base form, fíjense cómo va el verbo en su base normal, natural, and the complement, and a period at the end, okay? A full stop, punto final, cuando termina la oración, okay? Let's do it, and when you are done, you tell me, okay? Probably in three minutes, you're going to finish this. And when you finish, you let me know so we can go over the next activity. Teacher. Yes, sir. No miro nada en la pantalla. What about the rest of the class? No, no, yo creo que es el mismo problema de ayer. Okay, y los demás sí observaban la pantalla que les estaba compartiendo, chicos. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. sí, porque vi el, el, el yes. video de la clase y sí, eh, sí se veía que estaba compartiendo ayer. Pero le voy a compartir de nuevo, tal vez ahora sí lo puede visualizar. Porque recuerde que con el teléfono tenemos que moverlo, ¿verdad? Para ver la otra, la otra pantalla. ¿Ok? And what about now, Edwin? Oh, sí, ok. This is just an example, but remember your own the activities that in real life you don't do. 
the work-related activities in negative. And here, one of your colleagues, it can be a he or a she, yeah? Here, the idea is to use the first person in negative and here the third person in negative, okay? Finish class, not yet. Okay, two more minutes. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's wait for the others. Thank you, Miss Ivania, for telling me. Now ready, everybody? Are you ready, class? Listos? Not yet. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you, Dimas. Thank you, Ivania. Who else is done? ¿Quién más finalizó ya? José Mario, did you finish? Are your sentences ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, would you read your sentences, José Mario, please?
Jose Mario, your sentences, your six sentences. Hello, Jose Mario, we are waiting for your sentences. Okay, Ivania, please read your sentences. Okay. I don't drive the bus. I don't play the guitar. <laughs> I don't have pay vacation. I don't fix the cars. Okay. And I don't. <laughs> solo hice, solo hice cuatro. <laughs> okay. And yeah, but about you. And what about your partner, your colleagues? Y las de su colega o compañero o compañera de trabajo? Okay. Okay. Um, Carlos. Okay. Carlos uh, drive the bus? No, because all of them need to be negative. Ah, uh -huh. negative. All the sentences in yours must be negative and your colleagues negatives about the activities that you don't do at work and your colleague don't do at work either. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Carlos eh, doesn't call the client. Doesn't call the clients. Call the client. Yes. Eh, Carlos doesn't fix the cars. Excellent. Okay. And Carlos doesn't has pay vacation. Doesn't have. Have. Uh -huh. Doesn't have pay vacation. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Great, Dimas. Dimas is representing the boys team. <clears throat> El equipo de los chicos representa a Dimas en este momento. Okay, Dimas, you can do it, you can do it. Okay. Yes. Um, si mal no recuerdo, me tocó con eh, escribir la de... de. No, you're, it is the last part, six sentences. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh, okay, read your sentences. Okay. Three about you and three about another colleague. Um, I don't schedule meetings. Okay. She doesn't visit clients. Excellent. She doesn't present reports in English. Okay. She doesn't take the calls of clients. She don't take telephone calls. She doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> Como mm -hmm. siempre. Bueno, y la última. Uh, he doesn't supervise employees. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Very well. So we are making an emphasis in the negative sentences. When we use doesn't or don't, the verb doesn't change, okay? It is the okay. same. So class, um, some of you are still owing me the activities in the platform. Algunos de ustedes aún me deben las actividades en la plataforma para la sección uno, los homeworks. I cordially invite you to do it because I need to write the report. By tomorrow morning, very early, the administration is going to write the report about your averages and it's going to be sent to support. So, I cordially invite you to do that, yeah? And I'm going to ask Mr. Serafin to stay with me, please. For 10 minutes, today is your day, Serafin. Viernes is, Friday is your day, okay? Viernes, Friday is the day for your reinforcement, okay? So class, thank you so very much. Have a nice weekend, sleep well, and continue working very hard. Okay, bye bye. Take care. God bless you. Happy sleep. Good night. Have a good bye. night. Bye bye. Take care. Good bye night. Bye bye. bye, bye. Go to work in the platform. Go to work if you didn't do it, because most of you did it. Thank God. La mayoría sí ya lo terminó. Congratulations. Okay. They okay, go and work in the platform. Okay.
Thank bye you, bye. Too. Only Serafin is going to stay with me for the reinforcement. See you Monday. Happy weekend. Bye bye. Take care. Have a good night. Happy bye, sleep. Sarah. Bye bye, Juan. Bye bye, Brandon. William, bye bye. Bye bye, William. Brandon, bye bye. Bye. Are you here? Are you frozen? Hello? Okay, here we go. Because I don't know if they are frozen or what. Brandon and William, see you Monday. Bye bye. Take care. Okay. William, have a good night. Happy sleep, William. William Francisco, bye bye. Take care. See you Monday. Congratulations, William, because you finished the platform. Okay, okay, Seraphine, here we go. We're going to practice speaking, okay? And reading ours. Okay, here, we're going to practice this conversation, Seraphine. William, bye bye. Okay, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays, four weekdays, and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, now you read Ben and I'm going to read Jeff. You begin, Serafine. No, the microphone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible to listen to you. William Francisco, bye bye, okay? Estoy nervioso porque está William Francisco ahí. No, I think that it is frozen. <laughs> Creo que se quedó congelada la imagen. Okay. Okay, maybe eh, he's happily bien. sleeping and we are here. William, bye bye, and he's sleeping. Okay, <laughs> you, you are Ben and I am Jeff. You begin. Okay. Jess, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Do you work? Okay. Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekend days and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money? Do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. To do eight extra hours is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Now we switch. Okay. Cambio. Yes. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. I'm you. Uh, that's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you do work as hours? No, no. Continue. <laughs> I was about to read. Okay, continue. It is your turn. And, and how much money do they pay for eight extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see where sometimes there is not much time right absolutely yeah. now you read it alone ahora usted solo okay okay 
Jeff, how are you? Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hi, Ben. Well, I work five days a week and you. That's great. I work for week days and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Excellent. Very well. Absolutely. Excellent. Absolutely. William, bye-bye. <laughs> you, see you Monday, William. Okay, now we're going to read the welcoming letter to Dominic. Okay. okay. Travers Inc. For a better future. Dear employee, welcome to Travers Inc. Congratulations. You are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Job title, junior sales manager. Key job duties, have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations, two weeks per year, plus public holidays. Salary, $440 per month, plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travers, CEO. Okay, now it is your turn. Begin. Okay. Travers Inc. For a better future, dear employee. Welcome to Travers Inc. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travers family. Here is some information about your new job. Please read a careful name, Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Job dear. Tyler. Okay, Tyler. listen, listen. Job. This sounds like an A, job, 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 job title. Job title. Mm -hmm. Okay, job title, junior sales managers. Keep job duties. Okay. Ha have a meeting with your manage managers every week. Get, get in contact with customers. Answer clients question about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Car potential clients. Vacation two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary, $140 per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Trevor's CEO. Okay. Repeat after me, 400? 400? 40 dollars. For, uh, el 40, como es? Okay, 440. 440 dollars? 400, 400, 400, 400, 440 dollars. Dollars per month. Per month. Plus, Plus bonus. bonus, very well, okay? And now here we have this short conversation, okay? Ruth and Josh. Hey, okay. Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at work? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact, to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than 
hundred dollars. Okay? okay. Now I am going to read Ruth and you read Josh. Okay. Hey Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have pay vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. Please, please. Yes, yes, I do, Ruth. How how about you? Me I too. Care. Uh huh. Yes, tell me. Okay. Eh, uh, I under decía yes, I do, Ruth. How how about you? About how about you? Yes, excellent. Uh, yes. How about you? That's correct. Okay. Yeah, congratulations. Okay. Sí, de lo okay. contrario lo hubiera interrumpido, ¿verdad? Oh, okay, that's okay. 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 Excellent. Me okay. too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20, 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much? Do you receive? I have just two, but age bonus is for more than six hundred dollars. Okay, now we switch. You begin. Okay. okay. Hey Joe. Hey Joe's. I have a question for you. Do you have a pay vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too, I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600, okay? Okay. Now, uh, is it clear about the structure about do and does? ¿Estamos claros con la estructura do y does? Yes? Sí. Sí, uh, sí. Only to practice and to be more focused, right? Yes. Y estar como más concentrado porque sí saben el uso, pero a la hora de utilizarlo por momentos eh, se confunden, pero through the practice you're going to master the structure, ¿ok? A través de Oigo la práctica más. se le... Sí, hoy lo veo un poquito más claro ya la, la, el, cuando sí. van a utilizar el do y el does. Sí, porque o como se van reforzando temas, ¿verdad? Desde el Correcto. Módulo Ahora lo que me está costando uh -huh. también es estudiar lo que son lo, los verbos cuando van ahí es y es. Entonces me falta ah. como es. Ya sé cómo es, pero falta uh -huh. practicarlo. Ok, the more you practice, the more you understand it. Entre más práctica, mejor lo comprende. Ok, thank you very much. Congratulations because you finished the section one in the platform. Ok, very ya well tengo. done. Please, este, excuse me, Miss, uh, the, the homework uh, finished me, no sé si ya habrá terminado la... la sí, ya, la, la, la sección una, sí, ahí me aparece el 100%. Ok, eso que ya okay. sabe entonces. Okay. ok, happy weekend, see you Monday, have a good night, ok, bye bye, hey, the cell phone, ok, bye bye, have a good night, but William is, is done. So William ya se fue. Uh, <laughs> no reason to be nervous, okay? Have a good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Okay, leave the room. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Sí, pero abandone el salón y no me va a quedar como William. Frozen. Bye bye.